All right, so we're going to take a look at uh, problem number 24 here. I'm just going to read off the directions quickly. Uh, in the following problem, you're told that which way two of the positive axes point on a sheet of paper as you would look at them in R3. We're asked to sketch the positive axes as we're given and then include the missing positive axis given that the coordinate system is to be right-handed. So uh, you may use the right-hand rule in order to figure out uh, which way your axis is pointed uh, in the coordinate system. Uh, you might have to pre uh, experiment a little bit to produce a reasonable perspective. Um, it is, can be a little bit confusing trying to imagine these axes, but we're going to do the best we can. So problem number 24 gives us that the x-axis is pointed up and the z-axis is pointed to the right. Now, as a reference, I've already drawn out the uh, normal, what we might think is the normal 3D coordinate system with the z-axis pointed up, the y to the right, and the x coming out of the board. We're asked to uh, have the positive z-axis up and the positive z-axis to the right, so I'm going to sketch that. All right, so now our last thing to do here a uh, pretty simple problem is just to figure out where that y-axis might go. Now your best bet is to use the right-hand rule, but that's a little bit difficult to see. Um, so we're going to kind of imagine the coordinate system twisting itself around. Now in order to get the z-axis to the right and the x-axis upwards, we're kind of going to have to do a little uh, rotation here. So it's almost going to look like we're rotating this around clockwise there. So the x is going to end up pointed upwards and the z is going to be pointed to the right and then if you match them up x to x and z to z it's pretty easy to see that the y-axis is going to be coming out of the board.